Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived together in a house of their own in a wood. One of them was a little, small, wee bear, and one was a middle-sized bear, and the other was a great, huge bear. One day, after they had made the porridge for their breakfast, they walked out into the woods while the porridge was cooling. And while they were walking, a little girl came into the house. This little girl had golden curls that tumbled down her back to her waist, and everyone called her Goldilocks. Goldilocks went inside. First she tasted the porridge of the great huge bear, and that was far too hot for her. And then she tasted the porridge of the middle bear, and that was too cold for her. And then she went to the porridge of the little small wee bear and tasted that. And that was neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. And she liked it so well that she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went upstairs into the bedchamber. And first she lay down upon the bed of the great huge bear. And next she lay down upon the bed of the middle bear. And then she lay down upon the bed of the little small wee bear. And that was just right. So she covered herself up comfortably and lay there till she fell fast asleep. By this time the three bears thought their porridge would be cool enough. So they came home to breakfast. Somebody has been at my porridge, said the great huge bear in his great gruff voice. Somebody has been at my porridge said the middle bear in his middle voice. And then the little small wee bear looked at his, but the porridge was all gone. Somebody has been at my porridge and has eaten it all up, said the little small wee bear in his little small wee voice. Then the three bears went upstairs into their bedroom. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the great huge bear in his great rough, gruff voice. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the middle bear in his middle voice. And when the little small wee bear came to look at his bed, upon the pillow was a pool of golden curls and the angelic face of a little girl snoring away fast asleep. Somebody has been lying in my bed. And here she is, said the little small wee bear in his little small wee voice. Goldilocks jumped off the bed and ran downstairs, out through the door and along the garden path. She ran and she ran until she reached the house of her grandmama. And when she told Granny all about the house where the three bears lived in the wood, Granny said, My, my, what a wild imagination you have, child. The Gingerbread Man Once upon a time, there was an old man and an old woman and a little boy. One morning, the old woman made some gingerbread in the shape of a man. She added icing for his hair and clothes and little blobs of dough for his nose and eyes. When she put him in the oven to bake, she said to the little boy, You watch the gingerbread man while your grandfather and I go out and work in the garden. So the old man and the old woman went out and began to dig potatoes and left the little boy to tend the oven. And he started to daydream and didn't watch it all the time. And all of a sudden he heard a noise and he looked up and the oven door popped open and out of the oven jumped the gingerbread man and went rolling along, end over end, toward the open door of the house. The little boy ran after him as fast as he could manage, crying out to his grandparents, who heard the noise, and threw down their spades in the garden, and gave chase too. But the gingerbread man outran all three a long way, and was soon out of sight while they had to sit down all out of breath on a bank to rest. On went the gingerbread man, and by and by he came to two men digging a well, who looked up from their work and called out, 
Where are you going, gingerbread man? He said. I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? We'll see about that, said they. And they threw down their picks and ran after him but couldn't catch up with him and soon they had to sit down by the roadside to rest. On ran the gingerbread man and by and by he came to two men digging a ditch. Where are you going, gingerbread man? said they. He said, I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? We'll see about that, said they. And they threw down their spades and ran after him too. But the gingerbread man soon outstripped them also. And seeing that they could never catch him, they gave up the chase and sat down to rest. On went the gingerbread man. And by and by he came to a bear. The bear said, Where are you going, gingerbread man? he said. I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and I can outrun you too. Oh, you can, can you? growled the bear. We'll see about that. And trotted as fast as his legs could carry him after the gingerbread man who never stopped to look behind him. Before long, the bear was left so far behind that he thought he might as well give up the hunt sooner rather than later. So he stretched himself out by the roadside to rest. On went the gingerbread man, and by and by he came to a wolf. The wolf said, Where are you going, gingerbread man? I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? snarled the wolf. We'll see about that. And he set into a gallop after the gingerbread man who went on and on so fast that the wolf too saw there was no hope of overtaking him and he too lay down to rest. On went the gingerbread man and by and by he came to a fox that lay quietly in a corner of the fence. The fox called out in a sharp voice but without getting up. Where are you going, gingerbread man? he said. I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and a wolf and I can outrun you too. The fox said, I can't quite hear you, gingerbread man. Won't you come a little closer? Turning his head a little to one side. The gingerbread man stopped his race for the first time and went a little closer and called out in a very loud voice I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and a wolf and I can outrun you too I can't quite hear you won't you come a little closer said the fox in a feeble voice as he stretched out his neck towards gingerbread man and put one paw behind his ear. The gingerbread man came up close and leaning towards the fox screamed out, I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and a wolf and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? yelped the fox. And he snapped up the gingerbread man in his sharp teeth 
in the twinkling of an eye. And that was the story, Nori, of the gingerbread man. I think that the ending is rather sad. But Bertie doesn't agree. He says that gingerbread is extremely tasty. And he doesn't blame that fox at all for wanting to eat it.